Hello? No, you can all hear me all right. Pressure's on this time, then. <clears throat> okay, right, I think we're slightly late, but, oh no, one minute early. Um, so, good afternoon, my name's Chris from Made for Trade. Um, I'd like to start by thanking you all for coming to see our roof demonstration. Um, this build is intended to illustrate our claim that uh, the Corniche is the simplest and also the quickest uh, lamp and roof currently available on the market to install. Um, so the pressure's on for these two boys, especially this time round. Uh, the guy on the right is Bradley Gaunt, our managing director, and uh, on the left is Sam Thompson, our production manager. They've kindly agreed to be our installers for the afternoon. Um, what we're trying to <coughs> show you here is as representative of the full roof installation as we can possibly do, based on the fact we have to strip this consistently to replay this demonstration. So uh, the only thing we're not going to do is actually silicon this down onto the upstand. Um, but we are going to go through the motions of that to make sure that no parts of it are uh, missed out on. Um, the roof parts and stuff that's laid out on the rack, that's exactly how you get them from the factory. So any pre-assembly that's been done there would be done when you get it. There's nothing we've done to try and speed this along, basically. Um, have we got any manuals? Are we? Oh, Iga's over there. <laughs> She's just hiding from me. Um, Iga's got a copy of our uh, installation manual. If you want to take a copy off her, stick your hand up, she'll hand one out to you. <laughs> and you can, uh, you can follow that through to make sure we are doing everything as, as it would be done. Okay, so I think that's pretty much ready. Wait for a photo opportunity. Right, okay, guys. I think everybody's probably got one that wants one, so let's get started. Okay, so we're assuming that at this point the upstand's been checked, it's, it's level and it's square, so Sam's going to get straight on with installing the ease beams. The ease beam comes in four sections, he's going to lay those out on top. Uh, there's some laser cut 90 degree brackets that are precision fit in each corner, which hold the ease beams parts together and square while the rest of the roof is assembled around them. Uh, meanwhile, Bradley's going to build the spider structure for the bosses which are pre-assembled into the ridge from the factory. Uh, he then takes the hip sections, slides them into position, and through our bolt and tapered washing system, that's all tightened up. You might just be able to see as he, as he gets those bolts home with a screwdriver, it'll pull each section neatly into position. Once Bradley's completed that, he's going to start fitting the glazing retainers onto the glazing. And meanwhile, Sam's going to put a pair of temporary zip ties, two in each corner, which are going to hold all that together as they flip it over to um, mimic putting the sealant on. So the next job that Bradley's going to do now is going to fit some of the fir tree clips into the finishing caps just to save a bit of time later on. So once the zip ties are tight, they're going to flip that over. They're going to get their imaginary sealant guns and run a bead around the gutter where the bolt holes are. You can do this in reality, you pay a lot of attention to getting it right into the corners to make sure you've got a good seal. So once that's complete, they flip that over, get it into position, and put the spider structure in. That is the only bit of sealant you require during the roof. During the glazing, there's no more, so that's, that, that's your lot for that. Um, 
It's all precision engineered, so this drops in, fits perfectly. Just a case of checking to make sure the alignment's right on the end bosses. And then, again, short bolts with taper washers, pull it all into alignment. The die-cast aluminium bosses that are in the end of each spar section, um, where the threads, you've got a bolt going into a thread, um, they're all reinforced with a stainless steel helicoil insert, so there's no risk of stripping them as you put them in. Once that's complete, it's time to screw the thing down onto the upstand. All the holes that they drilling, they're putting those screws through have been pre-drilled at the factory. And within the kit, you get a screw for each hole, plus a few extras in case you lose some. Okay, while well Bradley finishes that off, Sam's going to go around with a standing knife and cut off the zip ties that are now no longer required. Now they're all cut off, it's time for the unit to be glazed. So because of the unique design of the glazing retainer, it's an end closure, eaves closure, and a glass lock all in one. Glazing it is quite as simple as it's showing you. You just rest the top of the glass on the ridge profile and rotate the whole unit down till it clicks into place. No mucking around with packers, no mucking around with sealant, no additional screws. It is as simple as that. So that's the unit completely glazed. <coughs> now the inner end, inner corner, Casting's going. Um, once each one of those is in place, you, you should see it's got a slightly raised profile that actually locks that glazing retainer in. And it, it just hammered home with some one hit fir tree clips. Next, the ridge top cap goes on. Stall clip fit, no tills required for that. And the same with the hip top caps. Line up them up at the ends and just apply a bit of pressure onto them until they clip into place. Then, End caps that Bradley put the clips in earlier on, again, push fit. Finish the hips off nicely, and the last job is just to fit the two boss top caps. And that's the roof complete. In 6 minutes 33, which is the fastest they've done it all day, despite the fact there's a TV camera pointed at them. So we'll take the barrier away now and give you an opportunity to come and have a look at it, make sure we have put it together properly. Um, so, we hope, hope you enjoyed the presentation, thanks for coming, and uh, if anyone else is interested, we're going to repeat this again at 3 o'clock.